Next question. This one, Sonali Kapoor, who asked, Lloyd, which is the best country for long term uh, according to business or job point of view? Is it India or UAE? There is no such thing as the best country in the world. I would say the only country in the world is which the country that you know about, where you're aware of the rules, the regulations, especially the loopholes of the system. Because if you know the loopholes, you can work through them and you can maximize at least short term. So it's not necessarily that it's India or the UAE or any other country. It's the country where you're familiar with the rules, you have contacts, you have connections, and you know the loopholes of the system. Otherwise, you go to any country in the world, it's going to be equally hard because remember today we are living in a very different time where people can travel. There's plenty of competition and, um, you know, competition never ends. Next one. This one is Akib Sheikh who asked, should I take up commercial pilot training in Emirates Flying College? Um, my answer to this is, Akib, if you are a local citizen of the country, then it's worthwhile taking the, you know, uh, the degree of aviation that you're talking about, Emirates Flying College. However, if you're an expatriate, I would say go to Canada, go to Australia, go to a country whereby there's a chance for you to get a citizenship, where there's recognition for the education that you get and you don't have to leave the country. In um, the Middle East or UAE or any other, especially in the Middle East block, if you get their degree and uh, you're an expat, one fine day you have to leave. So then is the education recognized anywhere else? Another thing is when you're talking of aviation, uh, unless, even if you get the degree, unless you have flying time or the number of hours, required number of hours, nobody's going to entrust their life into your hands until you drive a plane. So I would suggest that um, go to a country where there is a future, where they recognize the education that you get and they would give you opportunity to at least get some work experience where aviation is concerned. So I hope this answers your question. So the next question by Batmod, Batmod or Batman or whatever. Okay, Batmod, he asked, Hi, Lai, what is your opinion of the current situation of the educated people in India, graduate engineers in particular? Uh, well, what's my opinion? I would say that India's population is way too fucking high. It's almost the highest in the world as close as China. I think you have... Um, I don't know the official stats, but I think you have 100,000 engineers graduating every year. So that's more engineers than the number of jobs that are available. So I would say that you're facing an uphill battle. So you're saying, uh, what is your opinion of the graduates, uh, engineers opting for menial jobs with low job opportunities? Well, it's because there is more supply and less demand. So what do you do? So you don't have any option. How would one survive in such a situation where daily wages or the workers are paid, uh, where, you know, normal workers are paid more than engineers? What do you do? Well, you have to look out for jobs elsewhere. If you can't find a job in your state, look for another state. If you can't find a job in another state, well, look outside the country, not out of the country, then, you know, find some bloody solution because you can't just sit around doing nothing. So he says, uh, companies, state colleges are producing engineers with low skill sets. How come, uh, but how come freshers with such skills when our education system is focused only on theoretical aspects rather than practical learning? Well, this is a problem that third world countries have because most of the education is not practical in nature. It's very theory based. So my answer to this is as you're studying work at the same time so uh, like there are a lot of students who do evening colleges so when you work and you study that has more value but as far as finding a you know one fixed solution or a solution that works with everyone there's no such thing there's never going to be an easy solution to this